finally! Our long-awaited vacation is starting and we are going to Canada, yay! But first, we have to go through a treacherous journey in order to get there. We don't like long flights at all. And this one from Vienna to Toronto is almost 9 hours. And then additional 4 hours on the connecting flights to Calgary. I wanna start up something new I wanna see things I have never seen before I'm tired of these city streets I would go anywhere as long as I'm with you Come join us on this multiple episode series as we explore the Canadian Rockies but also other beautiful places in the area Tommy's brother lives in Calgary, so there is a place for us to stay. After we rested for some time, we borrowed his car and started a road trip. I try my best to concentrate. I try my best to keep my mind in my head straight. I've been feeling as of late that all I want to do is go out somewhere. And after three and a half hours of driving, it looks like we made it to our first destination. First, let's check out the visitor center. It's also Canada, we love it. And even when it's called Elk Island National Park, it seems like there is other animal that is prominent here. And we will learn that firsthand, you'll see. We are here at our first national park, this road trip and it's Elk Island National Park and we are resting here because this is just the beginning mm -hmm. and there is a hike ahead of us you'll see a rain shower is coming maybe you can't see it but there no. is a dark <laughs> cloud and it's coming our way so we'll see how this will turn out and yeah we have something to eat Aragula and cheese and ham croissants we are like totally loaded <laughs> that's not all look at this nanaimo Ooh. but this is not the best like not the greatest ingredients it's a very long list very long list and just sugar and some palm oil so we have to gain a lot of strength now because uh, there is a hike ahead of us. We are actually staying in a backcountry campground, which we've never done before. It's only four kilometers from the parking lot, which is not too bad. But we have to carry all the stuff with us, you know, the tent, uh, the mattresses and sleeping bags, some food and uh, toothbrushes and everything. Yeah, and water. Water is yeah, heavy. Yeah, a lot of water. We're staying there for two nights, so it's not for too long, so we don't need a lot of stuff, fortunately. So I think we will handle those four kilometers, but we are very excited and a little bit nervous because we've never stayed a night in such a remote area. Yeah, so we are hopeful we'll make it. There is no other way because we have to sleep somewhere and that's the place for us. Four kilometers ahead of us somewhere yeah. and yeah, wish us luck. As you can see, we don't eat healthy at all when we are on vacation. There is Aragula, so that's nice. It's green, but otherwise, like, I don't know. Shame on us. Shame on us. But I'm afraid because there is a thunderstorm. <laughs> that cloud there. And this one, this dark one that is coming, could be one as well. We hear a little bit of thundering somewhere in the distance so yeah let's eat fast and then i don't know hide in the car yeah. <laughs> The shower is here and my croissant is wet <laughs> oh no so this is a great start guys look at it but nothing can stop us so 
This is just a refreshment, croissants and rain shower, and we'll be full of energy and then let's go. Can't wait. The tent is heavy. Our backpacks are heavy because of the sleeping bags and mattresses. And yeah, it's not easy. I'm a little bit afraid because we are in a bear country, as the sign said at the beginning of this trail. And we chose the least used trail, it seems. Yeah, yeah, there is just grass and not many people here. And a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> Mosquitoes are our loyal companions, <laughs> so that's great. And we don't look like hikers at all in our city pants. Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, and I don't know what, but this is how we hike. So it doesn't matter how you look, we know how we feel inside. Yeah, like so, hikers. Yeah, like hikers, of course. So. This is a little bit new to us, carrying all these things, but otherwise we are experienced hikers. Yeah. So it's totally okay. So shut up. Yeah. <laughs> and this is just four kilometers, so we will make it just fine. We have to be loud because of the bears. Yeah. And so there's only two of us. We've always hiked with my brother in Canada. Yeah. And sometimes with his girlfriend as well. So there were more of us and the bigger the group is, the smaller the chance is that there will be bear sightings. Yeah, or that the bear will attack you. Yeah. They never attack a group of four and more. Yeah, but that was in Glacier National Park specifically. Okay, <laughs> but those are the rules for bears. So, <laughs> yeah, but now it's just the two of us. You don't see this in Europe. Yeah, definitely. Bears, in the Czech Republic, I mean, there is no wilderness. There are just lovely forests and woods where nothing can happen. But here there is wildlife everywhere and it's dangerous. Yeah. So we have to be aware of our surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mosquito on my hand and I've been bitten. But yeah, that's life. And there are so many mosquitoes. There are not that many in the Czech Republic. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. There's so many mosquitoes behind you, honey. Time for a mosquito repellent because this is impossible to live. <laughs> the ground is not the best. <laughs> there are swamps everywhere and it's so wet. So the mosquitoes love it. Us not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the water. Oh my god. I hope this is the right way to go then. <laughs> Hopefully, because there are swamps everywhere. Uh, honey, are you sure this is not a path that a bison created? This is how I imagine a mosquito kingdom. Yeah. Look, guys. Perfect conditions. Yeah, terrible shallow lake or swamp or whatever it is. Water everywhere. It's raining a little bit, but we don't mind because it seems the mosquitoes don't like the rain as much. Therefore we do. Yeah, so there are just a few of them around us now and we are resting here on a bench with a lovely view of a swamp <laughs> slash lake. 
This is the view. So interesting. What say you, honey? Very interesting. Yeah. But I knew that this is what the National Park was like. I'm not surprised. Okay, I am. I didn't know anything before this trip, of course. So, <laughs> this is all new to me. I didn't expect the mosquitoes that wasn't in the brochure. <laughs> This is really an experience, <laughs> guys. We recommend this. You wouldn't be able to forget this. I agree. Look. It looks like in Amazon somewhere, in, in the jungle. Good thing I have my city jeans on. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is strong. <laughs> we are safe under the trees. It looks like these are just short showers, fortunately. Look, there's a bison there. Oh and another one on the left. Wow. I don't know if you can see them, guys, but they are eating and relaxing on the meadow. Wow. They are far enough, I think, so we should be okay, right? Yeah, but it's very close to our campground. Uh huh. Yeah, we're staying somewhere here. We should be almost at the spot. Yeah, yeah bar. Uh huh. Okay. Good. The soil is very squishy. We are totally in a Canadian jungle. This is what it looks like. Look at the bison. I will put an arrow there for you guys, so you know where it is, <laughs> which which point. And I think there was a bison here as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are here. We are here. Oster Lake Campground. Look at the happy family. <laughs> there are not mosquitoes in their tent. <laughs> And the sun is shining. Let's go find our campsite. We found our campsite. Yay! Far away from others. <laughs> yeah, there are a few people here. There are six campgrounds together. Six campsites. Mm -hmm. And I saw online that three of them were reserved, including us, for this night. Uh -huh. But tomorrow all six are fully booked because it's the Friday night. So okay. It's a good thing we reserved in advance. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's just a very small campground. Yeah, it's a backcountry campground, uh -huh. so they are always small, I think. And ours is the only one with a bench. Yay! <laughs> very lucrative. We made it. It wasn't hard. It was the mosquitoes that were the worst part for me. Yeah, yeah. There is a big lake. It's our view. We have a tent with view. But we are not going to swim in this. <laughs> no. Our natural pool near our country house is like a deluxe resort <laughs> compared to this. With crystal clear water. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to lose much time, so we started building our tent right away. Luckily, we practiced how to do that at Tommy's brother's patio in Calgary. So now it was going quite well and we didn't encounter any problems. Okay, so the last two anchors. Just to be sure if it was windy, because it is kind of windy today. Yeah. We are hidden behind these trees, but still, better be sure. 
than sorry, right? There seems to be a bison pathway here. Yeah, that's what I am scared of. Here, guys. There is a poop here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and here is the path from the forest right onto our tent. <laughs> Are you scared, honey? No. No? Like this will be totally okay? Huh? They won't come here because they will smell us. Okay, if you say so. There is no nothing at the end. Let me figure it out. I'll just create a new one. Okay. And our tent is ready. It is built and we can live in it. Yay! Uh, I'm going in, honey. <laughs> Close the door quickly. Ah, we're safe. <laughs> Finally, there's something here. Or is it outside? Outside. Welcome to our home. So, these are our beds. We will inflate them a little bit, so it's a little bit comfy. It's not too bad. Yes, yeah. we created windows. Here we have one big window. And here the second one as part of our door. And I think that's it. But it looks quite spacious, right? Because officially this tent is for six people, which yeah. means that even four people can sleep here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we did that five years ago with my brother and his girlfriend and it yeah. was fine. Yeah, for four people it's like totally... The right size. Right size, yeah. No more would fit in here. Maybe children or something. Yeah. So yeah, we've made it, guys. Two nights here with bisons. Yes. So maybe... Look, this is totally the view onto the path. <laughs> so maybe we will wake up and there will be a bison... Breathing on our necks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, these dangerous countries where there are animals that could eat you or hurt you or something. Canada, hey? <laughs> <laughs> but it's exciting. I love it. This will be okay. So pretty. Yeah. I love it here. We need to keep our distance. We are going on a hike on this trail, but we are not sure how far we are going to get. Because it's getting late. Yeah. And Tommy's brother called us that there is a thunderstorm watch in effect because he is our emergency contact for this national park we added his telephone number and they were calling him from the visitor center about the thunderstorm watch and he called us so we'll see what's going to happen we were looking at radar there are some showers in the surroundings but i haven't seen anything unusual so hopefully it will be okay honey I don't know why you were running around me, but now I know the bisons are fascinating. Yeah, and there's our tent there in the back. Very far <laughs> in the background. Okay, so let's go. but I always like boardwalks. Yeah, it looks so cool, I don't know. Natural, but cool. It's moving, I Yeah. It's bubbling. <laughs> below us. Wow. It's so big. Yeah. All the trees are underwater. Yeah. Wow. I have always been fascinated by swamps. I don't know why. And these are the biggest ones I've seen so far. Yeah. So, wow, I wouldn't want to fall in. 
to me, it looks like something from a fantasy book. Like some creature that <laughs> come out of the swamp and... yeah. Wow, this is cool. I like it. It's moving, honey. <laughs> Don't. There are supposed to be beavers in this national park and we haven't seen any yet. But I think they've been here. Yeah, that looks totally like them. It looks like a pencil. Uh-huh. A lot of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is also this little bar from our campsite to the lake. I love how the sun is shining onto the lake. Mm -hmm. You can see the clouds developing and little ducks. Can you see them? Really? Oh yeah. And look, rainbow! Oh yeah. Oh my god! Yay! So pretty! What do we have for dinner, honey? We have... Beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. Ooh. Sounds fancy, right? <laughs> totally. And we eat it cold. Yes. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How is it? Tomato like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is our bread. We had to press it, you know, into a smaller chunk <laughs> because <laughs> there isn't much space in our backpack. So it looks like this. But who cares? And the main thing is that it's tasty. And it is. No, the main thing is that there are calories in it. Oh yeah, okay. I don't care what it tastes like. <laughs> Practical Tommy has spoken. Bison is getting closer and closer to us. He was looking at us. We're thinking that maybe he wants to pass through this to our campsite, but we are in his way. <laughs> we are wondering if we should leave and maybe let him pass through. Yeah, I'm quite scared. There were people <laughs> sitting here at the nearby table. Ah, there they are. Yeah, they got farther away. So. It's quite nerve-wracking and we were like watching the bison from distance and it was like mm, this is interesting so pretty but he's getting closer and closer and it's not the best feeling yeah. I don't know it's interesting yeah it is Five years, right? Yeah. Since the last time we were here in Canada. And I missed this. It's really nice lying in the tent. Yeah, it is. All the mosquitoes outside. Yeah, we made sure no one got inside. <laughs> <laughs> no mosquitoes here. The bison are outside as well. Mm -hmm. And deer and everyone. Yeah, and thunderstorms <laughs> wandering around. It's so interesting that in Canada, the light outside is there for so long. Yeah, yeah. Like at 10 p.m. it's still not dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is interesting. The time zone is somehow 
shifted yeah, compared at least here, to ours. In this part yes. of Alberta. Yeah. We will be going to sleep soon. And my sleeping bag is quite warm, so I'm not afraid that I'm going to be freezing. Because it's quite cold outside. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the night. You look like a mummy. <laughs> I'm such a mummy. I have a memory foam pillow. Of just course a you very do. small old one. But I need this. He carried it from the parking lot four yes, kilometers. It's important. <laughs> there was no space for anything else. There was. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's seven o'clock or something like that. It's eight because Peter has been procrastinating for one hour. It's eight already? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, who cares? This was a very eventful night. There was a bison in the middle of the night, like 10 or 15 meters from our tent. And we just heard He's breathing uh -huh. very strong and he was eating grass. Grass, yeah, not us, luckily. <laughs> so we were scared because we didn't know what to do. Yeah. If we should like make a little bit of noise with our sleeping bags or just lay completely still because we don't know how he would react to the tent mm -hmm. and to us being in the tent so yeah that was interesting and he was here quite a long time in mm -hmm. the area but then slowly he started moving away so that was a relief and yeah then we had to go to pee <laughs> outside of course <laughs> and there was something else here as well, but it was totally dark, so we couldn't see. But at one point it started running mm -hmm. and you could hear strong running. So maybe it was a deer. Hopefully. Yeah. And at first I was like, oh my God, it's running our way. We have to <laughs> run or hide or something. But it was running the other way uh, in the opposite direction. So yeah so it's a lot of fun here mm -hmm. in the outdoors yeah i don't know if i like this <laughs> being in danger you know maybe we weren't in danger we probably weren't the bison didn't care about us we just wanted to feed and that is how our vacation started in swamps with mosquitoes and wet shoes and socks but none of it could take us down we were happy we were finally here and the encounter with Bison was something we will never forget. Subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet, and next time we'll be continuing our Canadian adventures. So until then, bye!